did what was the obvious thing for me to do. I questioned Bob and Ben, and I found that that can wait. And sir, why are the doors locked? Right now, let, let's see what pointers we can pick up about honesty. Well, one thing I learned. Oh, just one, huh? To be honest, you have to find the truth. Wow. That's not always easy. I got shadow banned on Twitter. I saw Bob take something from Ben's locker. And then I saw him buy an expensive pen. All of this was my business. It seemed he had stolen some money. But you didn't know I'd stolen it. That's right. And you didn't even give me the benefit of the doubt. The what of the what? No. You should have asked yourself some questions, Jim. I'm butting in now. Is it logical to think that Bob would steal? Does it jive with your past experience of the way Bob operates? Jim, your physics teacher might say that you uh, formed your hypothesis then jump to your conclusion. You broke the bro you code. that all-important part of testing your hypothesis. Sometimes it takes a lot of testing to find the truth. But profiling is so much faster. But now can we draw up another general principle about honesty? I'd say the next step is pretty obvious. Convene a kangaroo court. Tell the truth. Is it that simple? No. I don't think it is simple. And certainly the way I described Bob slinking in and taking the money, that wasn't the truth. At least, not the way Jim told me the story. What? Maybe it was my fault. Yeah, let's go with that. I wasn't careful yeah, it's your to fault. tell you exactly what I saw. Let's call it express the truth. <laughs> kind of creepy, but okay. We mean being careful that what you say is the truth. And also being careful when you talk about a thing Oh, God. Be sure that people understand what you mean. Come again. But there's something more to being honest than just telling the truth. You gotta sex it up a little I bit. I promised Jim not to say anything. And then went to you, intending to talk. Wasn't that dishonest? And what about me? Maybe I wasn't honest when I broke it up and wouldn't let him tell. Oh, yeah. You ruined everything. We said at the start that honesty often involves conflicts. Uh, line. Let's think back. Doodly, doodly, doodly. It seems to me, Terry, that your intentions were honorable. Ah, oh, shucks, thanks. The conflict was between your pledge to Jim and your own sense of doing what was right. Awkward. You believed you were doing the right thing, but Nick stopped you. Because he's jealous of your That's pogs. That's to be said for his intentions, too. He was thinking of the good of the team. Not that I'm saying he was right. It ever came about that we had to harbor a known thief on our team in order to win games. Well, then, so be it. I guess I wasn't thinking very deep, but I could just see the whole season blowing up in our faces. Which safty brother is this? Maybe, maybe inside, I didn't really believe Bob was a thief. So, I'm kind of the hero if you think about inside. it. Inside. I think that's the clue to this bigger thing we're seeking. How's this? Stealing is fine now. Know yourself. Examine your motives. Know what you're doing and why you're doing it. Be unreasonable and make if enemies. If your intentions aren't honest, then your deed can't be completely honest. Dirty deeds and they're done dirt I cheap. I guess this is the time for me to explain my hypocrisy. Ooh, please do. When I came in to tell Mr. Barker about Bob, I started by saying certain things. What I said and what I was really thinking were two different things. I'm a real train wreck. It was something like this. Mr. Barker, there's something you ought to know about one of your boys. There's something I want you to know about one of your boys. Please, please, the boys belong the boys to us all. Don't say anything, so I feel I must be honest and tell you. I wish I didn't have to be the one to tell, but I want to be sure that you find out about Bob Foreman. And when you do... I'll become head boy. I can just see it. You'll kick Bob off the team, and Terry will become the regular center. Oh. My Terry. He is quite a catch. All he needs is a chance. All right, so the boys all have the best of intentions, but the girl is a manipulative opportunist. Nice worldview movie. Uh, that's your own hoop. Oh, never mind. He'll be the star of the team. And I'll be sitting on top of the world. You're in 10th grade. None of this matters. That, Mr. Barker, is the real reason why I had to tell you. Whether or not I thought I was telling the truth, my motive 
being what it was, I was not being honest. I'll go surrender to the Thank sheriff. Those. This hasn't been easy, I know. But now I have to expel all of you. But you've learned a lesson. A lesson in honesty. Honesty to yourself and honesty to others. That lesson will stand you in good stead all your life. I think we've all learned a good lesson. Yeah, he just said that. I've always heard that honesty is the best policy. Now I'm catching on to why that's so. It isn't always easy to be honest. Thanks for being honest. But when you have a problem involving your own honesty, it'll help you to remember these three pointers. Stop, drop, and... Know yourself. Be sure of your intentions. The motives behind what you're doing and saying. Self-doubt, got it. Find the truth. Tested in the light of past experience and by checking in every way you can. Check its pH balance. And express the truth. Make sure you say what you mean to say. And make sure your meaning is clear to your listeners. Purple monkey dishwasher. Now, Bob. Where's the damn money? Tell us the truth. What really happened? Well... I deliberately wasted everybody's month. As for that fancy pen... I'd wanted just such a pen for a long time. And I bought it with money my aunt gave me for my birthday. I don't know how it got into Ben's and locker. as for what happened in the locker room... Go ahead, tell them. Well, it was this way. As soon as I finished dressing, I headed out into the gym. Then I came back and stole stuff. The end. Then I remembered something and came back. I looked around for Ben, but he wasn't there. So I went to his locker. You see, Ben had been doing sound effects for the school radio program that morning. And he had borrowed something we'd need in practice. A Leslie Nielsen fart box. That's all. Honest. Yeah. I've seen Kurosawa films with more reliable narrators. Well, I gotta be honest. That sucked. Thank you so much for watching Fun With Shorts. This series is supported by Patreon and patrons like these wonderful people right here. They get early access to new episodes and exclusive episodes every month. Also, check out the updated funwithshorts.com for DVDs and merch and all the good stuff. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you next time.